Hello, welcome back to another video. I semi recently got some questions about zero waste or low waste eco friendly swaps that I have actually made in my life over the past like three years ish. Um, and it made me realize that I've never actually made a video sharing all of the swaps that I use on a day to day basis. So <laughs> I thought that I would go ahead and do that this year. So I'm going to start with my cleaning products because it's early 2021 a happy new year and it's about that time that we should all maybe be doing a little extra cleaning i know i sure as hell should be <laughs> so to be very honest i am really lazy and unmotivated when it comes to cleaning so i like to do as little as possible and i like to use the least amount of products as possible both for my own sanity and not wanting to clean and use a bunch of things as well as for cutting back on the amount of products that I'm purchasing, the amount of waste or toxic ingredients in those products, etc. So I use two different cleaning agents, if you will. So like soaps, sprays, chemicals, whatever you want to use in your house. I have two things that I use to clean my entire house. The first of those products is soap. It's just normal bar soap. It's uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile soap is what I prefer to get. Honestly, I buy this from Meyer. It's like $3 for a bar. And uh, my last bar lasted me for about six months. I'm just now having to replace it after I moved in. And yeah, it's literally just in this paper packaging that uh, I can recycle. And then it's just the soap. And you can use the soap for literally anything and everything. Um, I think Dr. Bronner's actually advertises that you can use their soap for like 90 plus different things. I don't know, you can buy it in a liquid form that comes in a plastic bottle. I prefer to buy it in a bar because it doesn't have the plastic bottle. My other cleaning agent that I use is my homemade cleaning spray. Now I'll be honest, this bottle that it's in is absolute shit. <laughs> I bought these bottles a few years back on Amazon. The bottle itself is really great. Um, it's a glass bottle and it's got these little stickers that you can put on with labels and it's blue in case if you use essential oils, it doesn't like kill the essential oils. But the spray part, as you can see, doesn't spray. And I don't know what's wrong with it, but I need to get a new top for it. Either way, um, this is just an all-purpose cleaner spray that I make from home. It's really the only DIY that I do and it is so easy. It doesn't take any time really. Um, it's basically just vinegar. I infuse the vinegar with lavender petals. You could also use like citrus peels. A lot of people will do that. I have lavender petals on hand that I prefer the smell of so that's why I use the lavender. Um, and I just soak the lavender petals in the vinegar, just regular white vinegar, for a few hours, up to a few days. And then I put it in this bottle. <laughs> After I strain out the petals, I add a little bit of water and there you go, this is my cleaner. Um, and so between my soap and my vinegar cleaner, this is really all I need to clean my house. Um, and a lot of times I will use these together. So for example, if I'm going to mop my floor, I will use a little bit of this. I will run this underneath the hot water as I'm filling up the bucket to get some soap suds in the water as well. And yeah, that's everything that I need to use to clean my house. I will use the spray to wash down countertops. I will use the spray to clean my toilet if I really feel like I want to clean my toilet. Uh, I use the soap to wipe down counters. I use the soap to wash my dishes. Everything, all of the cleaning in my house that needs to have some kind of cleaning agent involved, this is what I use. Now that you know what cleaning agents and products I'm using, um, I do have a few other items that I use to help clean my house, obviously. So for my dishes, because I am using this solid bar of soap to wash my dishes, I have found that the easiest way for me to do this is to use a dish brush. So I have this, it is a wooden handle part and 
some plant-based fibers. So this is 100% compostable and natural. And basically how I do this is I get this brush wet, I rub it against the soap, and then I wash my dishes. Super easy. Um, I found that using a bar of soap, it is a lot easier to use one of these brushes as opposed to using a cloth. Um, but yeah, obviously I don't have a dishwasher, so I have to hand wash my dishes anyway, and this is just the most sustainable way that I have found for me to do that. Doesn't work for everybody, and I get that. Another thing that I use is a bottle brush. I honestly think I got this at Meijer. It came in like a three pack and it was just the only one that I could find. Um, so it has like a metal handle, some, I don't know if this is plant fibers or animal fibers to be honest, which I should know, but I don't. And then it has like a cottony end on it. And uh, again, same concept. I will get this wet. I will rub it against here and then I'll use it to clean my bottles, my jars, anything that I just can't reach the bottom of with this. And that's how I wash my dishes. That's really it. So these are really great. Um, I don't love this brush, but I do use it and it's handy. And I do love this brush here. Um, I actually have to buy a new one. It's uh, getting a bit worn down, but I'm going to continue using it until I absolutely can't anymore. So yes, both great options. I also have some of the little like pipe cleaner brushes to clean like straws, but I don't actually use my glass straws that often. So it's rare that I actually use the pipe cleaner things. If I am wiping down any counters or surfaces or literally anything other than the dishes, I do not use any paper towels or napkins or anything along that lines. I have lots of these towels and rags. Um, so I bought some of these when I moved in and from like a thrift store and my mom had a whole bunch of these that she was getting rid of um, that were just older and have been used for years. So she was gonna upgrade to some newer ones and I needed some so she gave me a bunch of like hand-me-down rags. Um, and I have a ton of these. I have like at least 20 of each size and I use these for everything. <laughs> Similar to my compostable dish washing brush, I also have a compostable toilet brush. I'm not gonna show that on camera because I've obviously used it and that's kind of gross and I just don't wanna be touching it and flinging it around, you know? But I will try to find a picture of it and insert that. It's very similar to my dish brush where it has a wooden handle and it has plant bristles. So it is 100% compostable. I don't have any special cleaning products for my toilet, which I know seems weird because my family was always one of those families that had to have special toilet cleaners. I don't. Um, I do have a recipe for like a DIY toilet bomb cleaner thing with like baking powder and stuff. I have all of the items to make that recipe and zero motivation to actually get around to making it. <laughs> Um, I find that most of the time when I need to clean my toilet, I can just run the brush around the inside of the toilet and it gets clean. Like it doesn't actually need any harsh chemicals or anything like that. And if I'm feeling like I really want to clean it, I'll just use my all-purpose cleaner. It's fine. And then of course we have to briefly talk about laundry. I use Eco Nuts. I have found that in terms of sustainable or eco-friendly laundry detergents, this is the most affordable option. Um, so I really like using these and it just comes in this cardboard box. And you have this little cotton bag. It actually came with two of them, but I lost one of course. And then you have these little nuts or berries. Um, they're actually berries. And so you just put about five or six of these in your little bag and you put them in with your wash and they suds up and they make a natural soap. It doesn't really have a strong scent at all. Like this is what I would equate to be a fragrance free detergent. So if you're looking for something that's going to make your clothes smell really, really nice, this is not it, but it will get them clean. 
I do not have a washing machine or a dryer, so I do all of that at my laundromat. I do have a drying rack that I can hang clothes on to dry it because that's obviously more eco-friendly than using energy to dry the clothes in a dryer. However, especially with it being winter in Michigan right now, it takes forever for my clothes to dry and I just don't have time. Like when I need my clothes done, I, I need to be able to wear them the next day. Okay, so the last thing that I have to mention about my cleaning routine or cleaning products is my trash because obviously we have to talk about trash. Everybody has it, even me. Like I'm not perfect. I'm not perfectly zero waste. I do have a trash can. I do throw stuff away. Like it's unavoidable. Um, but I do try to decrease as much as I can and I try to reduce, reuse, recycle, etc. All the things. Um, but I refuse to buy trash bags. Like absolutely refuse to buy trash bags. Why would I pay for a piece of single use plastic that I'm literally going to throw to the landfill? It makes no sense. However, it is important to use a trash bag because Otherwise, the items can fall out or get blown out of the trash truck. Then they're polluting and littering because we didn't have a trash in a bag. So, it's important. I have been failing a little bit on the uh, reusable bag situation this year based on COVID restrictions and not being able to bring my reusables to the grocery store and so I have a plethora of single-use bags that I have accidentally brought into my life per COVID restrictions <laughs> and um, so yeah that's what I use for trash bags I put all of my trash in these bags I have a whole bunch of them I shave two separate piles one that is like my designated reuse these as trash bags pile in one pile that is ones that have holes in them that need to go back and be recycled at the drop-off bins so yeah aside from that the only thing that I really have for cleaning is my broom with a dustpan and a mop with a bucket for the mop and none of those are particularly eco-friendly aside from the fact that I reuse them and I don't just use them once or throw them away kind of thing. Like, I bought them from the dollar store. So, just use what you have. Um, I do have a rug, but I refuse to buy a vacuum to vacuum one tiny rug. So, I just sweep my rug if it's really, really bad. So, thank you for watching. I hope that this helped you get some ideas for how you can use more eco-friendly or sustainable cleaning supplies. Um, it's just what works for me. Obviously, it's not going to work for everybody. Just find what works for you. There are a lot of really cool options out there if you want to buy your own, like, eco-friendly, non-toxic cleaners. So, I hope that this was helpful, and thank you for watching. Bye.